Previously in this sh show. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's the communists. It's China. China, I thought you dead. Oh no, it's them again. The freaking Chinese are coming for my ass again. Hello, I'm Tankfish, and welcome to Plague Inc. I mean, Rise of Nations, a game where China f**ks the world over, over and over again, which makes this game too realistic. My mission here today is to make Earth a better place by exterminating the human race that is killing the planet with IT. Also, f freedom. I give my people free social credit scores and propaganda. Hashtag Tiananmen Square Massacre never happened. If you want to beat a strong opponent, then you must be stronger. That's why this time to beat China, I must beat China. What? There's nothing stronger than China. What the f do you want me to do? After countless defeats and years of researches, I have come to the conclusion that China is kind of gay. <coughs> also, I found out that the best way to rule over a country is not by democracy, nor by communism, nor by fascism, but whatever the f this is. Look at this. What is this? Look, it's a republic, which implies that it's democratic, but it only has one party, which means that it's fascist. But the parties is is a communist part what the f thus i think it would be fair for china to be able to pick all the ideologies at the same time yes hello hello this is ranjit gupta i'm calling from amatola services and i would like to help you with any tech problems you may have on your computer is there any way Computer may be clever, but human beings are much smarter. Oh wow, I'm in debt. Still better than US though. China f America all the time. Okay, no, that's it. I'm selling slaves. I have plenty of rice farmers to spare anyways. Brr, Austria, really? You're trying to buy one slave for a dollar? You think human life costs a dollar? Bullshit. Human life costs a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this part out. Um, YouTube's gonna ban me. <laughs> yeah, slave trade was uh, pretty profitable if I may say. Look how rich I am now. East India Company and sh** to me because I own the whole India Company. For some reason, I'm craving for oil. I might have to go and get some. Um, did you miss... So you have chosen death. Boy, you're still a thousand years too early to be facing me, the master of art of war. I can read you like a book. Sorry, but my Asian eyes can still see the shit loads of forts you have on your sand heels. You want me to attack from east so you can kill as many of my troops as possible to raise my war exhaustion and make me go. But too bad, I saw through your plan. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. But before dealing with you, I got a... Um... Do I really have to explain? Actually, just to make sure. Oh, and Europe is on fire, which is pretty realistic. Now, Iran, I'm just saying, you know I can just go around your fake-ass marginal line after securing the water, right? It is time to flank and spank. Oh, Iran, I'm coming for you. Uh, where are my oil? Oil? Did somebody say oil? Shut the fuck! We didn't start the fire. Yeah, Iran tried to be Australia and light itself up. All my oils are gone. Reduced to Adam. <laughs> Quantum computing? <laughs> Disgusting! I have Asian mathematics. Quantum computers don't even compare to the colossal calculation power of an Asian brain. I could simulate Big Bang with two Asian brains linked to each other. Tax collection? <laughs> Disgusting! Why do I have to collect taxes when everything my citizens own are mine to begin with? Political power? <laughs> Disgusting! I'm not a politician. I am God. 
Oh yeah, by the way, Africa is mine now because I mean I own Africa to begin with. All the infrastructures are mine, so yeah, but no one really gives a f so. Oh yeah, almost forgot about you, Hong Kong. You've been revolting for the past 10 years. I think some peacekeeping should be done. Oh, and Macau, I don't know why you're not China. But don't worry, that problem should be resolved soon. Oh, would you look at that? USA wants some oil. Can't live without me, huh? Call me daddy and I'll give you some. I'll put the government spending too high, because you know, it's totally not corruption. I'm totally not gonna use that money to buy KFC. Wait, forced labor? Hell yeah, now we're talking. Off to Gulag. Bruh, Empire of Japan. What are you trying to do here? I don't like the way you stand on my border menacingly. Do you want another nuke in your face? You know I'm still not over what you did during World War II, right? Oh, you think I'll fell for the same plan twice? You trying to invade me from Manchuria again? Try me, dipsh**. I have maxed ranged artillery that shoots shells further than SRBMs and f Terminator soldiers. What you gonna do, huh? Mukate Kurunaka. Nigezunokano China ni Shikazu Kurunaka. Ho ho. De what you boon Shikazu Kanai. No roi no roi. Za rice farmer. Saikyo no standora. Za rice farmer. Kurona. Nihon wa kesarita. There were protesters out there who didn't want war. But anyways, I started blasting. You what? Nothing? What did I do? Nothing happened. You owe me money. You owe me money. You also owe me money. Y'all owe me money. Hey, USSR. Ready for your boss battle? There's no time for stalling. <laughs> I shall sacrifice these cities to summon Mao Zedong. Sugi wa USA. Ki samada. Yaro. China. Oh yeah, by the way, you still owe me money. Corona. China is truly number one now. It took me a couple of universe reset to get all these small f***ing islands. So right now everything is literally made in China. To celebrate, I'm having a march. People's Republic of China. Seikaiichi. Meanwhile. 